What's going on today guys, Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something I've been very excited to finally get around to like doing and reviewing and, and checking out on camera, and that is the first of the Annex 2179 reviews. Uh, I've got all of them all caught up uh, as of this recording, uh, maybe by the time like I get to the last one, the uh, next release will be out, so fingers crossed I can like time it that way, but uh, more or less like a lot of my collecting focus has shifted from like stuff like Transformers to these more... Uh, 1 18th scaled action figures. Uh, this is a, a heavy contender, and so is stuff like uh, uh, Star Wars The Vintage Collection, uh, things like that. So I'll be taking a look at just about everything in 1 18th scale that I do have that's fairly recent and maybe uh, some older stuff too uh, that I do have as I track it down. Uh, I have some other uh, stuff that you know I definitely also am, am going to be wanting to do after this, kind of in that Toys Alliance ballpark. But this is kind of like an offshoot of... Uh, Acid Rain World. I believe it uses some Acid Rain World parts. This also uses some Glyos parts. Um, th you know, this release in particular. I don't know so much about all, all of the others, um, but this was the technically the first one. Or oh my God, it was the second one. Wow. Uh, released in the line. Uh oh, I thought it was the first, but uh, oops. I don't know why I thought uh, PZ was first, but I guess Tanner was first. Yeah, Tanner was first. Oh well. Uh, here we are. Uh, I already like got all the parts off of PZ, and I'm not going to do it to Tanner, uh, just because I wanted to show it in this review. But I guess we're just going to start with number two first, and then go go with that. But like I just saw the H02, and I was like, uh oh. But yeah, so like more or less, uh, I believe PZ was a Toy Pizza exclusive. Go figure, it's in the name. And Tanner, uh, I, I think you could pick them up at both of them up at Pia Club. But I know for sure you could pick up Tanner at Pia Club. I think he's still in stock. PZ seems to be the most uh, limited of the two. Uh, I know a lot of people like to pick those up and, and do some die jobs and things like that on them. So uh, take with that what you will. But it is he, he's fairly expensive on the secondary market. I went ahead and paid the late tax. Uh, whenever I first you know found out about this line, I picked up Detective Smith, who was the third release. And then I just kind of went back. I was like, you know what? I want all these guys. They're, they're all too cool. The designs are too cool. Um... Uh, Kit Lau, I believe is his name. He's the one that kind of does this. And he does all the Acid Rain World stuff. And they got some really cool toy bios. And he kind of like leaves it open-ended. So you can sort of like have your uh, imagination with it, uh, if you will. So yeah, there is that. And that's more or less what you get in the box. And, and kind of how it comes packaged. Uh, you know, stuff in baggies and things like that. But I do uh, want to show you, because these, these guys are, like, even MSRP, I think, was, like, uh, 50 bucks for, for this guy, and, and you know, for, for most of these others, um, I think I think uh, Detective Smith was actually a little bit more. Uh, again, I think it's kind of like a, a, a Toy Alliance and, and Glyos thing, because apparently um, this these armor pieces are from Glyos. I'm not a big 5 POA collector, so uh, take with that what you will. Um, but, but I do love, like, super articulated figures, so uh, there is that. But I, di I did want to show, like, just how much stuff is removable from these guys and kind of why they constitute such a hefty price tag for otherwise such a pretty small uh, little figure. And you'd also get, like, a, um, a second, like, neck piece like this. I believe it's supposed to make it more... It's either supposed to make it Glyos compatible or it's supposed to be, like... Uh, make it more compatible with like your acid rain world stuff some something like that I mean, it's it's nothing. I'm, I'm really gonna use on either of these so it stays in the box, but uh, I did take everything off of This side and, and realistically I really should have done it to Tanner uh, Because again like if, if heaven forbid I do break anything uh, this guy is incredibly difficult to replace but uh, Really cool. You got a nice like silver uh finish on the hair there. I think that's really cool. I'll get into the story with uh, Tanner and PZ when I do the Tanner review because they both have the same bio because they are brothers. And uh, and, and yeah, so um, I, I also I think like another thing that makes him popular is like it's the pink armor. Like people love pink. Pink's a hot color. But uh, if, if you want to, and, and like the, the you know, the, the, the mold breakdown goes even further. Like you can see this piece right here. Like this entire uh, arm assembly, it, it will come off. Like, this is just its own individual piece, which is just really interesting. Like, and that's how uh, I believe most, if not all, of the uh, Acid Rain World toys are, like, kind of set up. So, again, pretty cool. But if you want to, like, start putting his uh, his armor on and things like that, you can kind of, I believe you can slide this. Maybe, 
I think I actually did have to take this off. Now that I am thinking about it clearly, let's uh, let's see. Let's get a thumbnail in there. Let's pop that off. There we go. So yeah, that uh, that kind of clears it up. Now you can actually like the uh, it comes off at the elbow too. Uh, I, I don't want to like test it just because I know like this is like tried and true. So yeah, we're just gonna slide this over that. There we go. And let's get this little piece back on. Just easy does it. And boom, that easy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this arm off because this chest armor can be a bit of a pain to get on and off uh, on these clasps. Um, so, some different releases have like an easier uh, way of going about it, but anyways, you just uh, unhinge those and then you can just bring it over and around. I think the toy pizza stuff kind of comes like stock uh, unhinged, and, and again, it's... Uh, compatible with the Glio stuff, and here I am talking about how it's tough to get this stuff on and off, but that one went on pretty easy. Will this one? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. It's going to be, just if you have a nail, you can just kind of get in there and uh, pinch it closed, and then there, pop that back on. All right. So far, so good. And this actually does remove pretty easily. And again, you have like some more uh, joint work on the inside of that. So uh, let's see. Let's get this leg popped off. This was the scary thing. Just this leg, because again, it's a uh, you know two pieces, and I'm I'm gonna guess this is one whole piece. So I guess if you do uh, happen to to break this, you could uh, just get an acid rain world uh, figure, just a regular one, cheap one. Split this apart, and they should have the same kind of like T hips there or whatever. And uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. The holster. We'll just slide that down over the thigh. You can't see it because I'm going all out of focus and I'm all off camera, but that's okay. You get the idea. That's uh, that's all I'm trying to convey here. Is the idea. And let's go ahead and put the shoe armor on and honestly for the longest time I didn't even know that the uh, the boot came off that was like something new when I was just kind of messing around with Detective Smith one day I was like oh crazy boot comes off and we will pop this back on nice and satisfying and then this goes like this there we are and Boom. This is more or less how you get them out of the box. Um, but I did want to show to like what degree uh, things are removable uh, on these guys. They, they just they come with a lot. And I mean, kind of hence the price tag. Uh, so you get this, uh, this weapon right here. You can see this little peg. I believe the peg comes in there, but if not, you can just put it on. Uh, this uh, little knife looks a little warpy, but it's, it's like a soft rubber. And you just kind of clip that, um, or slide it rather onto the bottom of the gun, your aces, and then you can just sort of plug that in. You can kind of have it go, you know, if you want it down like that. I usually, for all of them, uh, keep it up. I just like the knife being up. And then put a little bandana on, just slips right over the head, and then you can kind of, it's it's almost like it's soft, uh, like a soft lock uh, into, like, between these shoulder pads, and it, and it does it for all the releases, and there are one, two, three, four, five, um, Annex 70, uh, Annex 2179 releases that utilize, uh, this armor. So, uh, and, and all of them, it's, it's just like a nice, satisfying click. It, it will come like, come loose, but, uh, but it's still, it's, it's, you, you'll know it if you have it, I guess. Uh, it, it's like crummy as that is to, to like, as a reviewer to say, but whatever. And then the hat will fit on pretty easily. Sometimes it'll knock that bandana loose, but we're going good now. You guys know I love westerns, so uh, and I love space stuff, and like this, just like nailed everything. Uh, so we have two different. Well, let's uh let's see. He's got a little cantina. This is more a Detective Smith thing, just because Detective Smith is an alcoholic. Get to that when we get to Detective Smith. Um, but yeah, so we have two different uh weapons here. This one's just kind of like a solid, again, sort of like a pliable plastic. Uh, I for all of these, I just use I put this one in the uh the right, our left, his right, uh, holster. And for this one, the one that's a little bit different, 
and just is really cool and it really did sell me on it. You can see, let's get him out of the way. That way we can focus. You can see how it's got this uh, working lever kind of action. So you can uh, have him, and, and he holds both both weapons um, quite well. Let's see, let's just get in here and try to pry those fingers apart or slip it in. It's easier than I'm making it look, I promise. Come on. Let's uh let's do that. Let's just get reckless with it. There we go. All right. The fingers will eventually like form back. But yeah, so if you want to like have him uh sort of look like he's, you know, uh loading it, you can totally do that. Um which I think is is pretty cool. And then obviously, it just kind of snaps back. And let's get that out of his hand and holster it. Now with this, you kind of want to be careful. I'll push down like on this piece because it's the main piece going into the holster. And then just sort of, it, again, it helps to have fingernails. If you don't have fingernails, you're going to be a little, uh, I don't want to say like, you know, um, unfortunate, but uh, it, it just helps. If you don't, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's again, it's a pliable plastic going into another pliable plastic. So uh, you're more or less good. It has all of the good articulation you would want. You get ankle rockers, you get ankle swivels, you get back, you get forward. Forward, not too much, but you can do um, the the kind of forward lean there if you had like a uh, a figure stand. Um, and I don't because like they just don't need figure stands. Uh, even the ones with like the questionable feet don't need them. You get uh, out about that far uh, with the shoulders. They're a little limited. And again, you can adjust this armor, however. So, and then of course you get the ab crunch, you get a uh, top swivel, you get the bottom swivel, and the head's on a double ball peg system. So you get all kind of crazy stuff with that. And you can even like, uh, I see a lot of people uh, kind of, you know, have the bandana be a little more uh, free floating to sort of uh, further cover up the, uh, the mouth. But I mean, he's got a, like a mask on, so... I mean, it's just overkill at that point, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, really cool. <laughs> I dig these colors, these crazy neon pink uh, cowboy colors. Uh, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, and you guys know I love the Dime Novel Legends line, so this is like, you know, uh, Dime Novel Legends in the future. You know, like, uh, and that that's what really attracted me to this, and then ultimately the rest, because it is a very cyberpunk theme, and that's another... Um, aesthetic that I really do enjoy. Oh, I guess I could like show off the elbows. You get some good elbow action. Again, I think it's because I pulled that out. Sometimes when you get these, you have to like push uh, the elbow peg up in there a little bit. So if yours is sticking out a little, don't worry. It's kind of like par for the course. Uh, ball jointed, you guys saw that earlier. You got a little swivel there. Double bend knees and uh, I don't hate that joint setup. I think that's uh, fairly solid. Um, it's not, you know, completely hidden or whatever, but you're more or less good because the knees are kind of set up like, uh, like knee pads and less like knees and pants. So, um, uh, again, like that, that works for me. And like Detective Smith, his are actually painted different from his pants. Tanner and Peasy actually have the least amount of paint. Whenever we get through Tanner and Peasy and we get on to the rest of the line, you're going to see a lot of like incredible, uh, paint work. Uh, assuming you don't just like Google this or, or you don't already know about it, I guess. But yeah, so um, this is, again, this is PZ. I thought he was the first one to be released. Uh, I was horribly mistaken. And, uh, you know, but whatever. Like I said, we, we kind of started it and this is this is where we are on it. And I will go more into the, the kind of storyline details with the Tanner review because they share the bio, blah, 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 blah. You guys get it. But yeah, really solid figure. Um expensive but it's I, I've, I've paid more for less uh, at this point in collecting and, and doing this hobby so uh, this is this is great this is just a, a, a great line I definitely hope to see it flourish I believe all of them are readily available on Big Bad Toy Store Detective Smith has sold out he's getting to be a little scarce and therefore a little more expensive which is again unfortunate like I don't really keep any of the, like, doubles of any of these, but if I did, it would definitely be one of Detective Smith. And so, it's 
considering he's getting hard to find and up there in price, you know, you're probably looking at paying 70, 80 bucks just for Smith. Um, he was already, I think, 65, so he was already like 10, 15 dollars more than most of the others. So um, he's not outrageous yet, but he is getting there, um, and he he probably is just the best looking objectively um, of all these. But uh, but yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments. Uh, please leave them in the comment box, and I, I know like my information's a little um, out of whack on the whole Toy Pizza Glios thing. That's just, I wasn't going to really look too far into it, just because, again, Glios does five points of action type stuff, and it's it's all great looking. It's just not for me personally. I think like you can pick up some of these armor sets, but it'll be like missing a holster, and I don't think it'll come with like the boots or the shins. And, uh, and, and that stuff, oh, speaking of, I have this on upside down. I was wondering why that looks so weird. There we go. Um, but yeah, so like they, they occasionally release some of that stuff. It'll be like the, uh, the chest armor, the belt, I think, uh, one of the, uh, side holsters and, and one of the weapons that go in there and then the back weapon. And I think you get the bandana and the hat and the head. Uh, so pretty cool. Like I know there's a lot of five POA uh, crowd out there, and I, I'm pretty sure they appreciate that kind of stuff, and especially with how cool uh, this looks. Uh, I have not tried any of this on like a Dime Novel Legends book, and that's something that I may try. I may, I may you know give that a shot in the uh, the Tanner video, but really really great looking. Looks great with Tanner, so uh, that'll be the next video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.